It is a grueling journey, but this veteran says he just had to do it. 71-year-old William Shuttleworth is walking all across America. Our Matt Kroshel asked him why, as William's trek brought him to Colorado's high country. He summited Vail Pass Thursday, and he's already looking ahead to Grand Junction. And he's looking ahead to that because his wife is flying in to meet with him. He'll also be getting a brand new pair of shoes, the fourth pair so far on this incredible journey. On this journey, success is measured one foot in front of the other. Uh, the heat, two, two tornadoes, uh, snow, 25 of the first 30 days I walked was raining. For William Shuttleworth, this seven-month walk across the country is a lifetime in the making. Oh, well, yeah, people stop all the time and want to talk to me about what I'm trying to do and what, what I'm trying to accomplish. What drives a 71-year-old Air Force veteran to begin walking? Throughout the country as I walk, the number one thing I hear all the time is the struggle veterans have up in obtaining proper health care. He's doing it for other veterans. His journey began months ago near Boston, across the halfway point somewhere on the Kansas Prairie. I have the gift of being healthy. So many men that I'm walking for don't have that gift. They came back wounded. I have this one ability to, to communicate, to walk, and to be resilient enough to do this walk. Meeting other vets along the way, taking his message of support for those who have served our country everywhere. He goes. As I'm bolstered by what I'm doing and the people that I meet, the love that I see in America. You know, tonight's news sometimes covers some really bad things about America, and it can make you want to hide underneath the bed. But you, pair, you put a pair of these shoes on, Matt, and walk across the country, you see nothing but the fantastic goodness and kindness and graciousness. Because vets don't forget other vets. He definitely was enjoying the cool air up here in the high country, especially after last week on the eastern plains of Colorado in the middle of that heat wave. He says that this was definitely welcomed. He's looking ahead now to Utah and Nevada as he pushes westward. If you'd like to follow his journey, he has an interactive map. We have a link for that over at CBSDenver.com. We are reporting on Vail Pass. Matt Kroschel covering Colorado first. Thank you, Matt.